I was actually hoping to, to start the discussion off with your production targets. Uh, I understand you're looking to increase from the 317,000 ounces last fiscal year this year as well. What are your targets this year? Where does that go? And when do you expect to hit 400,000? Yeah, so this year is 325 to 345,000 ounces, and uh, I suppose more importantly, we've uh, articulated to the market a, uh, an aspirational target of 400,000 ounces with um, some really key initiatives we're doing at the moment around exploration and uh, mill expansions underway, which we hope to be able to inform the market in the next sort of six to 12 months. Um, now, assuming growth prices do fall below cost, though, and I understand your all-in sustaining cost target is 1050 to 1100 an ounce there. If it does fall below, and we're not saying it will, does that put that plan then of increasing your capacity at risk? Uh, no, absolutely not. Um, actually, expanding our production actually lowers our cost profile, so it enables us to get through what could be a lower gold price environment, which uh, would also create um, opportunities for us to be able to maybe acquire assets as well. So we're in a, uh, a pretty good win-win situation. Right. No, so we'll talk more about yeah, acquiring assets uh, a bit later on. Since you brought it up, though, I want to talk about discovery costs. That's come down from 35 Aussie dollars per reserve ounce for the yeah. last fiscal year to, I believe, 25, 25 right now. Can I assume that goes down further? Uh, and do you have any specific target for discovery costs here? Yeah, look, uh, I mean, just on that point, I mean, to do uh, a discovery cost of $35 an ounce in one year is, uh, is very respectable, but to do it two years in a row mm. is, um, is sector leading and uh, really, really good position with their assets where they are. Um, look, we've been quite conservative with our, we've got a target of 4 million ounces that we want to define in reserve, we're at 2.5 now. Uh, we've taken a very conservative $80 an ounce discovery cost as part of our forward forecast um, and obviously doing 25 last year puts us in a pretty good position there. So um, I suppose the most important part, you discover it for 25 and we're currently getting valued on a uh, EV to reserve ounce of um, sort of five to $600 an ounce. So it's uh, very rewarding to our shareholders. Right, now that, speaking of rewarding to your shareholders, uh Riley, we're just going to get a chart up just for our viewers just to see that. What we've done is we put your stock price of your company and compare that basically to the peer group. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this and how you really have outperformed. Yeah. So clearly you're doing something very well. Uh, what do you think that is? And do you, can we expect that to continue? Uh, I think we're very much demonstrating growth in, a, in an ex-growth environment at the moment. So we are hearing some reports out of the, um, the Aussie gold sector around maybe peak earnings or ex-growth. And I, I think from, from our perspective, we've actually articulated in print higher production moving forward um, as well as lowering cost which increases our margin, um, which is really important at this, at this time in the cycle. Um, and obviously being able to demonstrate that with a drill bit, um, record low discovery cost, um, the combination has obviously been extremely well received and a um, and, you know, good reward for our shareholders. And in terms of increasing your production, just back to that topic, how much have you set aside for that? And can we assume that that will be funded again through mostly or entirely internal funded uh, in, internal cash flows? Yeah, exactly right. So, um, you know, again, a step change in production this year um, and also a heavy investment into our business. So we're going to invest $140 million across um, some growth initiatives to increase our production as well as a $60 million exploration budget, which is um, you know, double any, uh, any previous year's spend. So heavy investment into the business for that growth aspiration moving forward and, again, entirely funded from, um, from actual cash flows. So we've got a, um, $118 million of cash and equivalents, we expect to see that continue to grow as well as invest heavily in our business. Mm. And, and Rally, just very quickly here, organic growth, or are you looking to combine? Is that, is that growth strategy uh, of inorganic growth and maybe looking to get together with somebody else, uh, something that's on the table? Uh, look, absolutely focus on organic at the moment, and there are things in our control. Um, inorganic tends to be, um, when you least expect it, it might be a change of gold price, might actually come off a bit and create opportunities, or it might be an inbound. So we're open, we're open to, for business in that regard, but um, things that we can control is our organic spend and our organic production and our cost, and that's absolutely what we're focused on at the moment.